Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to uh, solve this absolute value equation. When solving an absolute value equation, we got to make sure we set up our two cases, um, solve it, and then check our solutions. So the two cases are going to be when the absolute value, um, the value inside the absolute value is positive, and when it's a negative. So to do that, we'll set up two equations. x plus 24 um, is equal to negative 7x, and the opposite, x plus 24, is equal to a positive 7x. So we're going to set them. Um, set them equal to each other, uh, or set them equal to both values. Now, when solving for x here, I now I just need to solve for x. So I need to get x on the same sides. So I'll subtract an 8x. So I have 24 is equal to negative 8x. Divide by negative 8. Divide by negative 8. Um, x equals a negative 3. Then I'll go and solve for x over here. So I subtract x, subtract x, and I have 24 is equal to um, 6x, divide by 6, divide by 6, uh, 4 is equal to x. OK, so now I have these two values. And what I simply want to do now is go ahead and test which one, which one, if not both, of them work. So all I simply do is take my value solution and I plug it into the equation. So negative 3 plus 24 equals negative 7 times negative 3. And this one's important because a lot of people say, oh, once an absolute value you know, equals a negative, then that's you know, no solution. But be careful because that equals a negative times your variable. So when I do this, um, I have negative 3 plus 24 is going to, uh, negative 3 plus 24 is going to be positive 21, which is equal to negative 7 times negative 3 is positive 21. Therefore, 21 is equal to 21. Very good. Now let's go and check 4. So I do the absolute value of 4 plus 24 is equal to negative 7 times 4. Well, again, 4 plus 24 is the absolute value of 28, is equal to negative 7 times 4 is negative 28. Well, here we know that the absolute value of 28 is, is always going to equal positive 28. But in this case, it says it equals negative 28. So therefore, x equals 4 is not a solution. Our only solution is going to be x equals negative 3. Thanks.